Boy, do I have news. So do I. I didn't want to say anything until we were all together, but Harry and I made up, and he asked me to marry him. Oh, my God! Oh, Congratulations! Whoa, that's great. Look at that ring! I know. He had it made based on the one that Richard Burton gave Elizabeth Taylor. Well, it is fabulous. Even more fabulous than your first one. So, Carrie, what was your news? Oh, uh, Burger broke up with me on a post-it. On a post-it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Read it and weep, my friends. I'm sorry I can't. Don't hate me. The motherfucker's concise. First of all, I thought you were going to break up with him. Yeah, I was. And I should have, but he said that he wanted to try to work things out. A.K.A. leave in the middle of the night. A post-it. That's infuriating. Uh, yeah, I remember when breaking up over the phone was considered bad form. I once was broken up with by a guy's doorman. I'm sorry, Miss Hobbs. Jonathan won't be coming down. Ever. I miss having a doorman. So, are you going to call him? No. I'm not going to dignify his behavior with a response. I am not even going to leave him one of those angry answering machine messages. Hi, it's me. You're a dick. That huh. sure felt good saying it right now, even to you. Well, that's what we're here for. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. That relationship was a complete waste of time. Oh, it's never a complete waste of time. I mean, even in the worst relationship, you always learn something. You might not want to say that to a woman carrying a loaded post-it. But, Carrie, everything happens for a reason, e even if you don't know what it is yet. That's such bullshit. It's not! Look at me! If I had never married Trey, then I never would have gotten divorced, and I never would have met my divorce lawyer, Harry, and I wouldn't be engaged now. Uh-huh. Paper covers rock.